In this video, we're at Montevideo Wonders to get a taste of football in Uruguay. It's a country that's domestic league often gets overlooked, but that doesn't mean its fans don't have the same amount of passion as elsewhere. We'll be risking our lives in the makeshift stands, watching police escort the refs onto the pitch and even some cracking goals. So join me in this video as we take a trip across from Buenos Aires to Montevideo to have a look at what a game is like in Uruguay. First up, a quick background on the team. Now the team was actually founded way back in 1902 and as you probably already noted, they don't exactly have a South American sounding name. We'll go a bit more into that when I'm actually in the stadium itself. Historically, they've won the Uruguayan Premier Division on three occasions but haven't achieved that feat since way back in 1931. It's a modest history that can be seen in its stadium, named the Estadio Alfredo Victor Vieira, where they'll be playing in this video against Club Atletico Cerro. So let's head down there and check it out. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, they've got some makeshift stands here in Montevideo Wonders. And this is something I saw instantly. I made sure that I was stepping up these terraces very carefully to not injure myself before the game had even started. Now, I want everyone who's from Europe to imagine if a stand like this could happen over there. <laughs> I mean, just look at this. Look at the drop underneath my feet at the moment. Like that's, that's, you know, if you fell from that height, uh, you wouldn't end up well. Um, I'm just thinking about, <laughs> you know, trying to pull that off in England or something. You'd ne you wouldn't even get that in like the eighth division. And it's not a bad thing I'm saying, but I'm just saying it's, for me, it's so rare to see. And if you're wondering about the name, Montevideo Wonders, it doesn't really sound South American, does it? It's not like a Club Atletico or one of those names. And that's actually because in the early 19th century, English people actually brought the game of football to Uruguay. So a lot of the early teams started as sports clubs off um, of the workers who were here, the immigrant workers who were come, who had come over from England. So like railway workers, like in the uh, video we did in Argentina at Faro, they were railway workers coming from England. You know, it's the same as say Wolverhampton Wonders, Bolton Wonders. Those early names of football clubs in England were obviously brought over here or at least had some influence on the culture and the names of football clubs here. And over a hundred years later, this club, Montevideo Wonders, still carries that name. So it's obviously very chill here because I just asked the lads if I could come and film their flag, something like that. Already pitch side. <laughs> It's that easy in Uruguay. This is a Premier League as well, so imagine doing that in other countries, like even in Argentina, you couldn't do that. But it does seem very much like a community-based club from what I'm seeing so far. You know, everyone knows each other. Uh, me showing up, everyone's like a bit, this is a bit random that there's just an Irish guy here at the match. Someone's actually got an Ireland uh, jacket on at the other side, but I haven't asked them about that yet. But yeah, everyone seems to know each other. Uh, everyone's setting it up together. Good vibe in that regard. Um, but yeah, of course, it's not the biggest of countries. So, you know, a Premier League game here, a top flight game is going to, you know, have less people at it.
Matías y el club para mí es mi vida, no, no puedo definirlo de, de otra manera, es todo y desde que soy chico me enamoré, nadie en mi familia es hincha, o sea, solo yo. Wanders es un equipo que, que fue en sus inicios muy ganador, consiguió muchas cosas, Wanders tiene muchas cosas para presumir, pero hace 90 años que no es campeón. Y eso a veces, cuando te pones a pensar, duele. Pero, pero bueno. No, 90 años es... Muy difícil. <risa> Mis abuelos claro. ni siquiera lo pudieron ver ellos. O sea, no, no hay casi recuerdos, pero siguen estando más que vivos a la gente. <risa> One thing that's actually cool here after the game is they just let all the kids run onto the pitch to play and just anyone who really wants to run onto the pitch, you can see them all in the distance there. That's what I like, a community club that lets, you know, they obviously the care of the pitch is important as such, but to let kids go out and just have fun after the match and watch essentially where their heroes are playing, yeah, it's such a nice touch, you know. If you want to just have a little look at the pitch, you could essentially just walk on like this after the game and <laughs> You know, you don't get this in other countries, you know, it might be a smaller top division of a country, but you don't get people, you know, taking photos on the pitch after the game. It's just all very chill here. It's all very just, you know, just humble and, you know, everyone just, it's like a community basically, which is, you know, it's re really good to see that, to be honest, because even when I've been in Argentina, you know, there's a bit of um, separation between the pitch and the fans, but just to see how much of a community club this actually must be, and obviously, like I say, not the biggest clubs in the country, but, you know, it's got a really nice vibe about it. <laughs> well, I think one person was a bit annoyed about that, to be honest. One woman came over and told everyone to get off, but 
Uh, yeah, that's been basically an experience of what a game's like in Uruguay. Obviously, like I say, not the biggest club, but yeah, great, great atmosphere here. And, you know, the one thing I love is that these lads know they're not the big in the biggest amount of numbers as such. They know they don't have the biggest amount of numbers, but that doesn't stop them. They still have a band. They still try and get behind the team so you know it shows you it doesn't matter what numbers you have if you support your team if you love your team you always got to get behind them so that's been great to see but yeah it's been a it's been a good game um, make sure to subscribe to the partido if you haven't already uh, we're still out here in south america i'm going to say in this video we're still out here filming videos of football on this side of the world so make sure to subscribe to the partido share this video and nos vemos in the next video